Let's talk about Fresh and Fit, man. Fresh and Fit has been on the mud, bro. It has been on the mud. They have been on the mud, especially, especially Fresh. Fresh just got a girl pregnant. Apparently an escort pregnant. She's an Asian, a Chinese immigrant, obviously an immigrant from China, came in the country. She has an accent, so she's not fully brainwashed. But obviously her clothing shows that she's brainwashed. And they were in a relationship for four four months, and they were fucking every day. And this fresh loser, this loser, this incel, was nothing inside of her every day. No calm, just pure raw. And he thought they were never gonna have kids. From that, I just knew this guy was deluded. I talked about fresh before and how disgusting, how immature, and how delusional these people were, and how they were just giving out filthy and just pathetic advice. Talking about a nuclear family, basically a husband that works, a wife that, uh, a mother that that cares for the children and that cleans the house, but then themselves they're not married. They're thirty years of age. They uh, propagate. They promote having fifty bodies, which we all know the most of the most of the bodies are from whores and just escorts, and they don't. And they're not, don't have any kids. They're losing insults, and most of the popular videos are. Insulting these whole girls, which are not very educated and just pure losers, and now it comes out this fresh guy, who is not really a main guy in the podcast. He's a main guy in the podcast, podcast, fresh and fit, fresh, black guy, but he never really speaks. And whenever he does speak, he's the most annoying out of the whole group. He has sometimes more annoying than the girls, which is quite embarrassing. He comes out, I got a girl pregnant. The Chinese girl, obviously, one or two. Keep the baby. He didn't expect that. And guess what? He tried to he tried to manipulate the situation. He tried to manipulate her, saying, "Oh, it's abort the baby. Who cares?" And obviously now now again recently, uh, the Chinese bitch had an uh, had an interview with Adam Abraham Preach. I watched the whole interview. It was absolutely amazing. Kind of it was actually pretty funny at some at some parts. Uh, uh talking about how oh what is two plus two? And obviously she said it's four. Oh, where's how do you know it's four? Because Fresh and Fit, uh, I had an interview with Mohammed Hijab. If you don't know who Mohammed Hijab is, he's a Muslim speaker, talks about Islam and all that stuff. If you're if you're a Muslim, you probably should know who Mohammed Hijab is. He's very popular on YouTube, and if you're not, even if you're not Muslim, you still would know who he is. But they had a podcast, had an interview with him, podcast style, but it was just a random interview. And one of the questions, one of the one of the statements or questions that Fresh said was, "How do you know that two plus is four? How do you know that?" It could be something else. Obviously, Muhammad Ijab was like, Muhammad Ijab was like, is that a serious question? And after that, it just got mean, bro. Fresh is so stupid. They both had good, they could have both had good jobs before. Obviously, Fit worked with, with the government, uh, protecting kids, saving kids. And Fresh, I don't know what to do. Obviously, they both had good high paying, good decent, high, I guess high paying, high average jobs. Below high High, high, high above, high above average jobs. Obviously, you got money. We got more money with this multiple real estate or whatever. But they're all jokes. They're clowns, and you should never obviously learn from them. Uh, I was an insult before. I guess I still kind of am. But I was brainwashed by them, and I was listening to Fresh and Fit. I was actually taking in their advice, and I actually listened to them. And it just never worked at the end. It never worked, and I realized how pathetic they were. And I was, I was trying, I was grasping what they were saying, and. I watched tons of podcasts, I watched multiple podcasts of these guys, multiple interviews, and they just kept repeating the same thing, the same thing over and over again. And guess what, man? It never came to fruition. They're both at the 30s, they may be rich, but they're not married and they don't have any kids. They talk about having a nuclear family, they talk about having, trying to find the perfect wife. If you have 50 bodies, you, you could actually find the right experience and the right girl for you. Having a sex with escorts and high value women which are not high value women the high materialistic women does that mean you would have a prop does that mean you could have does that mean you have experience of finding the right girl for you it means you have experience of finding the wrong girl and you would end up in a deep deep rubber hole that you never get out of this fresh guy manip trying to manipulate this bitch saying saying please I bought the poor, poor, trying to manipulate this bitch by saying I bought, bought the guy I bought the girl I bought the baby there's no point and apparently the Chinese girl Said she did, he did he did this to he did this to other girls as well. So apparently she he had other girls pregnant. He had other girls pregnant, bro. This is 
Pedro. Bro. I mean, what do I say? Well, I'm surprised to me, bro. Face had other girls pregnant. And Fresh is not good at taking care of her. Fresh is like, you know, and not um, left her red and everything. Fresh two weeks ago said, I love you, he's a Chinese girl. They were girlfriend and boyfriend. Fresh in multiple videos on Monica podcast was denying that, they were in a, that she was in a relationship. In some points, a Chinese girl said, I, she, he paid half of a, 30, a 30k ring, 30k necklace. What type of guy pays 30k or, or 15 or four, 14,000 to another 14,000 to a necklace for a girl, if that's not your girl. This guy was so in love with her, bro. But after he realized that he kept nothing, on a, nothing inside of her too much to the point that she actually got a kid, now he doesn't love her. Now he wants to remove her from, from his life. See how deluded these, these people are, bro. These people are deluded. These people have no life. These people are incels, bro. They're incels with money, and they're incels um, deluding themselves with a physique. Think that oh I have a seek, I have money so I can say whatever I ever want if I want. But the actions do not speak for them. The actions do not speak. You understand me? <sighs> speak your mind and speak the truth. Awaken yourself. <sighs> Where are we now? Hmm? <laughs> fresh, fresh, fresh. You're looking fresh. And you're gonna have child support soon. <laughs>